This is the point of view that you have when you are a mechanic. We can see an open engine and this means then we have a problem. And that is the reason why I'm doing this video to you guys. So uh, I want to show you what is going on with this Cummins ISX. The problem that we're having with this Cummins ISX was that uh, it was uh, overheating. It was um, releasing a lot of pressure to the crankcase system. And also it was creating a little over pressure on the coolant system. The truck still was on the road running with no problems. It was going on loads and everything, but it had the issue. Then whenever it was going up hills, it started overheating. The truck came finally to my shop. Uh, the owner took it to a different shop trying to fix the problem. No succeed. And uh, finally we uh, were able to find the problem. So um, what they did replace to let you know was the thermostat, water pump, um, they replaced the crankcase filter, and I don't remember what else, but I replaced a couple things then didn't solve the problem with this engine. But I'm going to show you what the problem is. For that we need to do a deep inspection inside the engine, and that is what you are going to see right now. We are going to go inside the combustion chamber of this engine because the problem of this common size engine is in there. Once we get there, we are going to see the damage on the head. You can see there is a crack on the head and that is the reason why we are getting these issues. And uh, the problem is that the head cracks over the time, especially on these coins I have sex from 2012 and up. And uh, this causes many different problems similar to the one I just told you at the beginning of the video. Now, um, we are going to speak all the other cylinders and you are going to see that all the other cylinders are going to have similar damage. But also we are going to encounter in these cylinders damage on the actual cylinder, not just the head. We are going to encounter some small damage. It is no major damage, but still damage. So this damage is going to cause the high crankcase pressure. That is the reason why we, are, we were having two different problems. The high um, temperature and high pressure in the coolant system and also high crankcase pressure, which are problems that are completely separate but in this case, we're together in one solid truck. So with this, I am showing you how this damage was caused inside the cylinder. What caused this damage? Well, that's a good question. This truck had what is named DPF delete. And DPF delete is something is very controversial nowadays because you know emission system, emission regulations are very expensive. The systems, especially the emission system itself, to maintain that is super expensive. So a DPF delete will be a very easy route to go to save some money. That way we can interact with your uh, truck easier without thinking that your DPF system or SER system will break over the road. And this is the reason why this engine failed because we have a DPF system deleted. Now, the proper repair to fix this issue will be to do a full overhaul, replace the cylinder head by, uh, by a aftermarket or buy a OEM rebuild or brand new it doesn't matter we need a totally different head because in this case you could clearly see then we have cracks on the head and those cracks were caused because of the over pressure on the cylinder is pressuring inside the combustion chamber uh, it is not going to happen to all the trucks just to let you know just because you just deleted your system doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you but probably it's going to happen eventually at one point who knows when but hopefully never happens to you but we have here an engine right then was you know taken to a different mechanics trying to find an answer which they couldn't 
which I don't blame them because you know there is always problems that we never can solve which every, everything is fine with that but I think that it's very important that you understand the consequences most uh, more important than anything is that you understand the consequences when you delete your DPS system because if this truck didn't have a DPF delete we were not worry about these kind of issues probably we were worried about replacing the SCR system and replacing the DPF and pretty much it's going to cost the same as the engine the engine is going to cost around eighteen thousand dollars to rebuild it or something like that and the DPF system is going to cost around eighteen thousand dollars to maintain so you are not going to be exempt of expenses if you delete the system but uh, I guess the point is clear there is other videos that I did on the past um, showing you problems that are very similar to this one. In this case, this truck was very unique because the con uh, there was no high consumption of, of coolant. There was no coolant consumption at all. Uh, probably it was, but very minimal. In the other trucks I did, there was a high coolant consumption. But in this case, it was very minimal. And that's the reason why it was so confusing. Why this truck is consuming, uh, is uh, overheating if it is not consuming coolant. Because usually when the cylinder head cracks, you wanna have coolant consumption and also you wanna have high temperature on the coolant system. But in this case, it was one of those cases that are, you know, one of, of 100, of 1000. I don't know how many cases like this we wanna have, but this was that type. That's the reason why other mechanics probably went in a different route, trying to find the problem in a different way, but they couldn't because, you know, the problem was internally where the combustion chamber is, which is the cylinder head, most likely, and also the other problem with the uh, scratch cylinder liners that were causing high crank pressure. But, well, um, I guess the point is very clear, so if you didn't understand anything I said uh, or it was not very clear to you, you can use the comment section below and you can leave those questions answer, uh, and answers too. If you have the answer for any questions that um, anybody is asking, you can you know, go ahead and answer. You can leave all the doubts, you can leave anything and uh, we are going to be ready to respond to you probably I will take my time because I have some other things to do, but we will try to do it as fast as we can. Also, if you want to contact me directly, go to Instagram and look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube there. You are going to find me directly and that is how you are going to be able to contact me the fastest. Go look for me and have the question and information and all the specifications about your problem ready so that way I can help you the fastest and if I don't respond you right away email me I mean send me another message again or again and again because sometimes I don't have the time immediately or I am busy answering some other people's questions well uh, we're gonna send support just use the comment section below I have details how to send support to the channel that way I can create content like this for all of you that want to learn more about these machines that are very complex nowadays. And uh, be sure to like the video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.